Hello everyone. Let us learn today atlanto axial joints. Now there are three separate synovial joints, one median and two lateral. Connect the atlas and the axis. Now this is axis, second cervical vertebrae. This is atlas, first cervical vertebrae, and they are connected by one median atlanto axial joint and two lateral atlanto axial joints. Now these joints move as a one unit and permit rotation of the atlas along with the entire skull. Okay, the skull is attached on the superior articular facet by its occipital condyles over here and to form atlanto occipital joint and both atlas and the skull rotate at the atlanto axial joint right now talking to the median atlanto axial joint it's a pivot variety of synovial joint and it is formed by the articulation between the dense or the odontoid process of the axis with the anterior arch of the atlas right the anterior surface of the dense presents an oval facet you can see over here right to articulate with the corresponding facet on the posterior surface of the anterior arch okay over here you can see right the dense is kept in position by transverse ligament of the atlas which is extending between the two tubercles on the medial side of the lateral masses of the atlas over here these two are the tubercles and they provide attachment to the transverse ligament and this transverse ligament lodges in a groove which is situated on the posterior surface of the root of the dance over here you can see a groove right so like this the articulation occurs and usually a bursa intervenes between the dance and the transverse ligament that prevents friction so the ring is formed by transverse ligament posteriorly and anterior arch in front and the pivot is formed by the odontoid process or the dance of the axis and together they form pivot variety of synovial joint so during movement the pivot is fixed and the ring rotates on a vertical axis the tip of the dance is connected by apical ligament to the basilar part of the occipital bone close to the anterior margin of foramen magnum okay let me show you the tip provides attachment to apical ligament below and the upper attachment of the apical ligament is somewhere over here now this is foramen magnum these two are occipital condyles and it's and near its anterior margin somewhere over here the apical ligament is attached right a pair of ala ligaments they diverge upward from the sloping surfaces of the tip of the dance you can see over here to the tubercles on medial surface of the occipital condyles above right they diverge and they are attached to the medial aspect of the occipital condyles the ala ligaments are stretched during flexion and they are relaxed during extension of the head okay now if you articulate the atlas like this during flexion the atlas will also move along with the skull and there is a relative posterior displacement of relative posterior displacement of the odontoid process during flexion and during flexion the ala ligaments are stretched and they check the flexion and they are relaxed during extension right similarly on rotation of the atlas you can see over here these ala ligaments are also stretched and they check the rotation right now talking to the lateral atlanto axial joint each joint is plain synovial and it is formed by inferior articular facet on the lateral mass of the atlas you can see over here this is lateral mass these two are superior articular facets which are elliptical and concave whereas the inferior articular facets are circular and almost flat slightly concave right now these will join with the superior articular facet of the axis like this which are little little bit convex so the inferior articular facet of the atlas and the superior articular facet on the axis are reciprocally concave or convex right and the lateral atlanto axial joints right they participate in rotation of the head and also transmit the weight of the skull through the atlanto occipital joints right so here will be the atlanto occipital joints so not only they help in rotation right by permitting the gliding movement you can see over here but in addition to it they will also transmit the weight from the skull 
so you can relate both atlanto occipital joint and lateral atlanto axial joints morphologically with the uncovertebral joints of lower cervical vertebrae okay now you can see over here in typical cervical vertebrae these two are uncle processes on side of the body of the vertebrae and this will articulate with the reciprocally beveled margins on the inferior aspect of the body of the adjacent vertebrae like this and this will form uncovertebral joint or joint of lushka so the atlanto occipital joint and lateral atlanto axial joints are morphologically equivalent to these uncovertebral joints right now the capsular ligament of lateral joints they are loose and they are attached to the peripheral margin of the articular surfaces over here right over here they are loose and they are attached to the peripheral margin right now the laxity of this fibrous capsule permits forward and backward gliding during rotation of the atlas okay so if you see it from in front during rotation of the atlas at the pivot joint this lax capsule will permit the gliding movement of the articular facet at lateral atlanto axial joint right now these three joints are supplied by the second cervical now and the movements we already discuss the atlas carrying the globe of the head will rotate around the axis okay which will behave as a pivot and which will remain fixed okay the ala ligaments are relaxed at the initial stage and permit rotation when full range of the rotation is reached the rotation is checked by tension on the ala ligaments okay that also we have discussed so the median atlanto axial joint will permit rotation and the lateral atlanto axial joint will glide and that will bring further rotation right and extreme rotation is checked by the ala ligaments right the lateral atlanto axial joint will also help in weight transmission and which are the muscles producing this rotation three muscles oblique capitis inferior rectus capitis posterior major which is forming one of the boundary of the suboccipital triangle and splenius capitis on one side and sternocleidomastoid mustoid muscle on opposite side they work in harmony with each other they work together to bring out the rotation okay so three muscle on one side and sternocleidomastoid muscle um, sternocleidomastoid mustoid muscle on opposite side will work together to bring out the rotation the extreme rotation or extreme flexion is checked by the stretch on the ala ligament okay so this is regarding the morphology and the movements at the atlanto axial joint hope you understood well thanks for watching